August 16. 1191. The Saracen hostages, 2,500 in number, put to the sword beneath the walls of Acre, by order of Richard, with the sanction of his confederates. The Gauls of the murdered infidels were converted into Christian medicines. 1380. John of Gaunt erected a court of minstrels at Tutbury, England, with legal jurisdiction over the men in that profession in five counties. A king and four other officers, who had sovereign authority upon this day. 1424. Battle of Verneuil, in France. The French and Scotch under Buchan, constable of France, defeated by the English. The Scottish auxiliaries were nearly annihilated. 1494. Ferdinand and Isabella addressed letters of approbation to their High Admiral of the Indian Seas, Columbus, from Segovia, wishing to know all the seasons of the year, such as they take place there in each month separately. Some wish to know if there are two summers and two winters in the same year. 1513. Battle of the Spurs, in France, between the French and the English under Henry VIII, at Ginget. It received its title from the flight of the French, gendarmerie, and the pursuit of the English, in which the contest was one of speed. 1519. Cortes set out from his colony of Villa Rica on his expedition to Mexico, with 415 Spanish infantry, 16 horses, 200 Indians to transport his artillery and baggage and some native troops, among which were forty nobles, whom he took as auxiliaries in war, and hostages of the Tadoncas. 1604. Hubertus Gyphonius, a Dutch critic and civilian, died at Prague. He wrote notes and commentaries on Homer, Aristotle, Lucretius, and other authors, and was a noted professor of philosophy. 1654. Onondaga Salt Springs Discovered. 1677. The second ship from England arrived at West Jersey, bringing 230 passengers, most of whom were Quakers, some of good estates in England. 1681. Nikon, a celebrated person in the annals of Russia, died. He was the sixth patriarch in the Russian Church. 1705. Battle between the French and imperialists at Casino in Italy. Both claimed the victory and sang a Te Deum. 1718. Action off Sicily, between the British and Spanish squadrons, in which the latter were defeated, and several large vessels taken or destroyed. 1721. No. One of the New England Goran was issued. James Franklin, brother to Benjamin, was the publisher. It lived only about six years. 1730. Lawrence Etchard, an English historian and divine, died. His works were creditable performances. 1733. Matthew Tyndall, a celebrated English polemical writer, died. 1738. Joseph Miller, better known as Joe Miller, died. He was an English comedian, and the compiler of a popular jest book. 1777. Battle of Bennington. General Stark with about 1600 New Hampshire militia, attacked and defeated a detachment of 1500 British regulars and 100 Indians, sent out by Burgoyne, under the command of the Hessian generals. Baum and Brayman, to take the magazine at Bennington, private's prisoners. They lost four cannon, with all their baggage, wagons and horses. Americans lost less than 100 killed and wounded. 1780. Battle of Camden. The Americans under General Gates totally defeated by the British under Cornwallis. Baron de Kalb received 11 wounds in this engagement which proved mortal. 1792. 
first theater opened in Boston. It was called the New Exhibition Room. The statute of the state prohibiting dramatic performances, they advertised to represent. The moral lecture of Douglas. One evening, about two months after, as Sir Peter and Lady Teasel were representing their parts of the moral lecture of school for her. scandal, the sheriff made his first appearance on that stage and arrested them by virtue of a peace warrant. 1800. Samuel Barrington died. A distinguished admiral in the British Navy. 1806. Action between the French ship veteran, under Jerome Bonaparte, and six British vessels of the Quebec fleet, homeward bound, which were captured. 1812. Detroit surrendered by General Hull to the British under General Brock, without firing a gun from the fort or consulting an officer. The American force amounted to 1,100 men. The British took about 40 cannon, 2,500 stand of arms, 400 rounds, 24 pounds. Provisions 1814. The United States fleet employed in the expedition to Mackinac having failed in its object, Colonel Crogan re-embarked his troops. 1824. Charles Thompson, died, aged 94. He was the first Secretary of Congress, in which office he continued 15 years. The Indians called him the Man of Truth. He translated the Septuagint in four volumes. 8 VO. 1825. The Northern Sea discovered by Captain Franklin, who traced the Mackenzie River to its source. 1844. Turhan Kirtland, aged 89, died at Poland, Ohio. He was one of the pioneers of the Northern Ohio, then called New Connecticut. 1848. An immense conflagration at Constantinople consumed about 2,500 shops and 500 houses. 1848. A serious insurrection took place at Ceylon against the British authorities, which was subdued by strong measures. 1851. George McClure, a general in the War of 1812, died at Elgin, Illinois, aged 80. He resided a long time at Bath, Steuben County, New York, was many years. Member of Assembly from that county, and at different times judge, surrogate and sheriff. 1851. Stephen Olin, an eloquent Methodist divine, died at Middletown, where he was president of the university, aged 54, also, in 1833 and is known as an author. 1851. The division of the forces of Lopez under Colonel Crittenden having been driven to the coast, where they embarked and opened boats, were captured and shot at. Havana. 1854. The Russians blew up the fortifications at Hangho, in sight of the Allied fleets. The evacuation of the principalities by them was continued. 1854. The Allied fleets in the Baltic accomplished the final conquest of the Bomersund forts, situated on the largest of the Åland Islands, accompanied by the capture of 2,000 Russians. 1855. Battle of Chernyaya. The Russians under Gorchkakov attacked with great force the lines of the Allies, and drove in the outposts, defended by the Sardinians but after a severe contest were driven back with great loss, 4,000 supposed to have been killed, and 2,200 left prisoners and wounded, loss of the Allies 1,200, of whom 200 were Sardinians. 1856. Henry Colburn, an eminent London publisher, died. He brought out the works of Bulwer, D'Israeli, Hook, Marriott and James, and originated several very popular magazines.